Hey guys, it's Ashley from Not Into Reviews, and today we're here with Spice Breeze. I haven't done all these in so long, yikes. Um, if you're not familiar with Spice Breeze, it is a monthly culinary subscription box. So pers personally, that's not the right word. Basically what you do is you sign up for Spice Breeze, you choose which option you want. This is their um, three recipes. I believe it's $12.90 a month, but they do start at $6.90, so that's their most expensive at $12, which is very affordable. Um, you get to choose the recipes that you receive and then you get them. They have a featured location each month, um, which they get the recipe from there. And then they kind of work, they try to work the menu into that, but obviously if you're choosing, you can select other ones. Um, and then they send you what they call a spice kit. So if you're getting a three, the three recipes, you'll get three spice kits that includes the recipe and any, all the spices you need to create it. Um, a lot of their spices are organic, uh, non-GMO, all that good stuff my favorite cooking subscription. I love it. Um, I will prepare one of these in my blog. If you're interested in checking that out, that's always a lot of fun. Well, once my blog is fixed, I'm making a bunch of videos today, but I can't like, write. It's really sad. Actually. I've been like depressed like, down. I'm like, what do I do? I'm like, Oh, um, so yeah, I guess I'll open this one day. All right. So anyway, so this is just the unboxing and then, you know, I always make one, like I said. All right, so I think this is from November. I am so sorry, guys. These get lost, they're so small. And then I have to make a recipe along with it. And like, we, my kids are in all sorts of stuff. I'm in all sorts of stuff. There's just stuff going on all the time and to sit down and make one, I'm like, ooh, I have to get to that, I have to get to it. And then I mix them up. So, so I look at like the postmark, I'm like, ooh, snap so anyway it's always beautiful when you open it up you open it up and you see your spices and then your recipes are here so we're gonna go through this is our featured location which is Dal Dal Lake in Srinagar Kashmir I hope you like the way I said that um, <laughs> visiting the Kashmiri Valley in the city of Srinagar and its nearby lakes leaves you absolutely mesmerized the Dal Lake in Srin they keep putting it in there come on Jewels surrounded by an evergreen beauty and skyscraping mountains. Its water reflects the artful engraved wooden balconies of an abundance of houseboats. A bright array of colorful gondola-like boats called shikaras blend perfectly into the beautiful nature. They offer a unique opportunity to experience the harmony and romance of this heaven on earth. For locals, shikaras are a means of transportation to get to it's very much like um, the gondolas in Venice, um, to get to school, work, and shopping. In the early morning, flower and vegetable vendors present their merchandise on a bustling, floating market. That's fun. And there's some links to find out some more information. So there's that. And then our first um, dish is a Kashmiri dish. This is Rogan Josh. This is a new one. I've never received this before. Rogan Josh is a signature dish from the cold mountain region of Kashmir. The preparation of this stew is as easy as it can get. The complex spice blend creates a deep flavor and an intense color. We recommend using a good amount of chili. Authentic Kashmiri chilies are the best choice. They are less hot than cayenne pepper and color the dish pleasantly red. The use of tomatoes is optional and up to you. Um, so in our packet, I'll show that to you. It's this packet right here. And in there is fennel, cardamom, asafoetida, cumin, turmeric, cinnamon, coriander, black pepper, cloves, and mace. Um, this calls for lamb stew or chicken thighs and yogurt. And then you can add chilies and you serve it with like rice or naan or whatever like that. So that's a pretty simple dish um, to create. Sounds pretty simple at least. That's cool. I like simple. I'll take that. All right. Then we have Kuara, which is a Moroccan spice blend or spice, spice kit, I guess. Uh, a tagine is usually cooked and served in a clay pot of the same name. I do not have a tagine, just FYI, with a cone-shaped lid. Munkara is a popular Moroccan kefta tagine with cherry-sized meatballs and eggs. Uh, tomatoes are not supposed to be added to this sauce. It's just pure gravy from the juicy meatballs. I'm not into, um, like, red meat, so not at least hamburger. Like, I'm not into that. Comfort food at its best. For a faster version, you can form the meatballs a bit larger and cook a bit longer. In our packet for this one, which is... Right here, we have paprika, cumin, cinnamon, mint, black pepper, and cayenne pepper. Like I said, this is made with ground meat. Um, they suggest that you can, it's so hard to find lamb, but you can use beef, lamb, or half of each. Um, and then you just need parsley, cilantro, shallots, egg, butter, 
and then you can serve it with whatever you want really um i don't think i'm gonna make this just because i'm not into like red meat like ground meat like that. it's not sorry i'm being honest all right then we have Badrijani. Um, this is a Georgian kit. Uh, the Georgian cuisine developed unique spice blends influenced by their East European and Middle Eastern neighbors. Every family has a secret recipe for the traditional Kameli Sunneli blend. Walnuts play a prominent role in their daily diet. Enjoy this rich eggplant walnut dish with an exotic spice blend. I have made this before, it was really good. In this one, this is the most beautiful packet too, Badrijani. I just like saying it, Badrijani. It's so much fun. Um, it's beautiful the color. Uh, and here we have the Kameli Sinelli blend is coriander, fenugreek, marigold, hyssop, paprika, mint, black pepper, turmeric, savory, methi, basil, cinnamon, and cloves. So for this one, you're using eggplants, walnuts, garlic, vinegar, olive oil, and salt. Optionally, you can add some cilantro. I love, love, love cilantro, so I will add that. Onion prosciutto or other some other kind of like soppressata or something like that other ham that's thinly sliced and pomegranate seeds are all optional i may make this again but i'd also like to do something new so i'm not sure um but we do have another like additional spice packet here this is the um kashmiri chili this will be used in our first recipe if we uh to taste like they said, the Kashmiri chilies are nice. They're not as hot as cayenne, but they're still spicy and they add that good red color. And then you can keep this and add to other things too. So anyway, like I said, if you're interested in checking out Spice Breeze, uh, do so down below and also check out my full review where we will make one of these meals. As always, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.